I feel like this T.D. Jake situation is a teachable moment. So pretty much there's rumors going around saying T.D. Jake's went to one of P. Diddy's wild parties and he's being accused of all this demeaning stuff. So the simplest way to describe the Holy Spirit would be as you nurture your relationship with God, this conscious or intuition will get louder and clearer. This is important because there's a lot of people with bones in their closet, skeletons in their closet that are nervous to come out. What it looks like is you're going to wrestle, you're going to feel that pressure, but whatever God says, go. The Holy Spirit speaks. He speaks to your conscience, to your intuition in many other ways because T.D. Jakes is going through, I'm pretty sure he's going through a lot of anxiety, spiritual warfare, stress, pressure right now. And this brought me to a scripture in Acts, Acts 25, when Paul was in prison for two years for preaching. Greece wanted to kill him for having freedom of speech. The only reason why the warden kept him in prison for two years was to please the Jews. And then a new warden came in, looked at his case, and then let him go because they had him in prison for no reason. So, you know, people like to make it painted out like you don't go through things when you believe in God, but you do go through things. Some people are blessed not to experience that that part of things, but a lot of people go through the process, you know. So um, everybody who's talking about him, I watched some crazy videos. Um, he could really just repent and be led the Holy Spirit and be led by the Holy Spirit. You know, if he did do it, the Holy Spirit will bless you with peace. Even if you have to come out for something crazy, he will bless you with peace. He will bless you with confidence, edification. You understand why you're doing what you're doing? Um, I thought this would be a good time to explain what it looks like when you're led by the Holy Spirit, when you're being shepherded by the Holy Spirit. I was recently talking to somebody and they said one of their favorite, <clears throat> one of their favorite Bible scriptures was the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I asked them, I said, what does it mean to you? Um, what does it mean to you? The Lord is my shepherd. They didn't really know. They just said that was just their favorite scripture. I said, what it means to me when I say the Lord is my shepherd is the Holy Spirit literally, the way that I describe the Holy Spirit, the most simplest way, hold on my thing. God is speaking to your conscience, speaking to your intuition and so much more. And he's guiding you left, right. You know, sometimes we have to wrestle for a while and wait. 